agriculture in Tanzania is the backbone of economy and it does employ 65% of the population. That is the setting of Tanzania and those are the questions that we set to answer how to feed the population using the kind of resources that we currently have. At Agri-Info, we have a number of products and services. The first one is insights on what is happening on their farms and the way we go around it is using a drone to capture data and then analyze those data so that we can offer uh, short message services in which offer them good agricultural practices on what they can do on their farm. And with that uh, comes a platform which we call Jembekilimo. Um, so the platform came about as we were looking for ways to integrate data that's been collected from the field and we made a way that will be accessible to everyone to visualize and be able to use it uh, in a meaningful way. Hence, the platform was born to be able to uh, upload, analyze drone data, um, add KYC of farmers, add information on farms, and then combine the three layers into one to help uh, the end user make data-driven decisions. Kwa mwanzoni, agri-info ilichukua wakulima kama kumi, kama wakulima wamfano, tukajua maeneo yao. Msimu ulivuanza, now we can use drones, ambazo zinachukua tarifa mbali mbali ambazo zinausu kilimo champunga. Hawa kilimo jembe kwa kweli walivokuja, walitupa semina ya watalam na wakulima. Kwa sababu, teknoloji imebadilika kama wanavo tumezi drones na nini akipita angani huko, anaonyesha. Ni eneo lipi limelima, ni wapi pana ugonjwa, ni wapi pana changamoto. Tunayo majaribio ya nao usiana na mambo ya umagiliaji, uh, tunasema ni alternating wet and dry. Kwa hiyo kuna mashamba ambayo tunamwagilia kidogo sana na kuna mashamba ambayo tunamwagilia kama mkulima alivyozoea. Sasa ndege sio na rubani iliweza kugundua na kunionyesha kwamba kweli maeneo yale ambayo ni ya majaribio yanayonyweshwa kwa maji kidogo ni kweli ilionyesha kwamba maji yalikuwa kidogo. Kwa hivyo inanionyesha kwamba huko mbeleni tutaweza kupata uh, uh, faida kubwa sana kutokana na teknolojia hii mpya tufikirie tu kwa hali ya kawaida bwana shamba ana uwezo wa kuzunguka mashamba labda kumi kwa siku lakini hawezi kufanya hiyo kazi ambayo ni tarajiwa bwana shamba atapita barabarani kuangalia kwa mbali na hataweza kuona kitu kilichoko zaidi ya mita 4 5 kwa usahihi lakini kwa kutumia teknolojia mpya tuna uhakika wa kuvaa eneo lote na na uhakika kwamba Kazi ambayo inafanywa na bwana shamba kwa muda wa mwezi mzima una uwezo wa kuifanya kwa masaa mawili. Wakati wa mradi kwa kweli shughuli zetu za kilimo zimekwenda vizuri sana kwa sababu mradi uliotengenezwa kitaalamu vizuri sana. Uzalishaji ulikuwa ni mzuri na wa juu. Kiasi kwamba watu wengine waliacha kazi na kuja kufanya kazi za kilimo. So in terms of the future of Agreen for we see a number of possibilities. One, uh, given the data that we do collect, we are able to add on around uh, financial services to the farmers, so in terms of loans. Another potential one, in sugar, they have issues around yellow sugar aphids. With our mapping, we are able to identify where, where those pests are. But then we are also able, once we identify, we are able to advise on where they can actually do spraying and save costs for the farmers. 